Hey booktube, it's Brianna from the Book Buddies and I'm here today to do a part one of this collective book haul. Well, it's more of a February book haul, but I mean, you know. Which is ironic because for Lent I gave up online, keyword, online book shopping. Which really sucks because like Amazon and Barnes and Nobles online is so much cheaper than getting it in store. So far, I've been doing pretty good since it started, like, two days ago. <laughs> okay, so first book I have is Steel Hard by Brandon Sanderson. And I actually, I just finished this book, and it's really good. It's about a guy named David, and he lives in this world where there are super beings called epics. And basically, no one really knows how they got their power, how they came to be, but they just arose, and instead of being superheroes, they're supervillains. And there's this one um, epic in particular that David wants to seek revenge on. Um, when he was eight years old, David went to with his father to the bank, and he was killed by Steelheart. And it's just a really fantastic book. And super fast paced, so easy to read. If I didn't have so much school stuff going on, I would have finished this two days, no problem. And it is just, come on guys, cover love. And you have to appreciate this. Nice. That way on the spine too. Anyway, great book. And the next book I have here is Codename Verity, and this is by Elizabeth Wine, Queen Wine. And I am probably going to butcher the summary, but so I'm just going to read the back because it's like super short. Um, on October 11th, 1943, a British spy plane crashes in Nazi-occupied France. Its pilot and passenger are best friends, but one of the girls has a chance of survival. Arrested by the Gestapo, Verity is given a choice. Reveal her mission or face a grisly execution. They'll get to the truth. <laughs> They'll get the truth out of her. Only it won't be what they expect. And I've just heard lots of re -review reviews about this book and you're gonna hear me flub a lot. I tend to do that. Just a f I'm just a fail in life. But yeah. And I really, I don't know, I love the color cover, and it's just like simplicity and everything, so, yeah, it's a really interesting read. It seems to be a really interesting read. Next book is Angel Fall, another, another, another super popular uh, book here on BookTube, and it's by Susan E. And again, beautiful cover. I heard um, she, this was first like self-published, but then, you know. Um, publishers were like, yo, I know she's gonna, this book is gonna be super popular, we better snatch her up. We did. But, um, anyway, okay. It's been six weeks since Angels of the Apocalypse descended to demolish the modern world. Street gangs rule the day while fear and superstition rule the night. Uh, when warrior angels fly away with the helpless little girl, her seven-year-old sister, Penryn, will do anything at her back. And Penryn, while she's on her way to get her sister back, she runs into an angel warrior, angel warrior, um, getting beat up and getting his wings taken away from him, I believe that's what I got from the back of the book, um, on the street, so she helps him and then they go together to find her sister. So, uh, yeah, again, just heard really rave reviews and I'm a sucker for covers. This is a beautiful cover. Next book is, and I'm like currently reading it, is, uh, The Complete Mouse, because I know I got the complete one because I figured uh, it's super popular, everyone's going to like it, and I really want to try to get more into um, graphic novels. But this one's by Art Spiegelman, and basically he tells the story of, um, well, he tells his father's story of how his father survived the Holocaust and just World War II in general and all that time, all during that time, and I believe the second half of the book is like how it's affected him and it's just it's really interesting so far and I like it 
because um, it's like he seems like he really remembered everything, every even tiny moment that had, like when he was interviewing his father, he just seemed to incorporate it in his book, and it's just really, it's really like heart wrenching, but it's um, some parts are still entertaining too, and so far I really like it, and I look forward to finishing this. Oh, next is I got this book at Strand. And let me tell you, you know when you go to the bookstore and there is always that one book that you see and you don't, you're don't, you just not sure if it justifies, like it's super tiny or super just like thin and I, you don't think it would justify for the price. And, but it's just so pretty and I've, every time I got a strand, no, I'm not going to get it, no, I'm not going to get it, I've been saying it for months and I cracked. <laughs> anyway, it's. First of all, look how small it is, but look how beautiful it is. Just light pink, and look at the reflective print and in, like the intricate designs of. I I really like simple covers. It's just, it speaks more to me than like one girl with her face like this and things. I don't know, but you know what I mean. No, you know. Anyway, this is um, a poetry book filled with uh, select love poems by Pablo Neruda, and he is a really famous Chilean poet from the 20th century, 20th century, yeah, 20th century, and um, yeah, I really been why I'm really selective with poetry because I'm not, I don't tend to be a poetry person, but um, I I've read a couple of his poems before and they just really stuck with me. Like I could really feel like the passion and just the intensity of his voice through the words. And I thought, and, and this is really cool too, because they have, they have it translated, they just have it side by side, the Spanish version and then the English version. And I look through, I look forward to you know, reading through this and just being inspired. Okay. Ooh, this one I'm super excited about. <clears throat> Ah. <clears throat> anyway, Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. Tahara, Tahara Mafi. Uh, okay, I'm not too great. I've I've definitely watched enough videos to know how to pronounce her name. When people have finally like learned to pronounce her name, I just don't have the best memory. <laughs> but yes, this is the Shatter, the first book of the Shatter Me series by Tahara Tahara Mafi. And basically it's about a girl named Juliet, and she's stuck in an institution after, I believe she kills someone, like, um, I think in her family, or so someone close to her, and they, yeah, they send her off to that institution, and she kills them accidentally because her touch is lethal. And I'm just really looking forward to getting to this series, because for like the past couple months or so, everyone's been raving and about Ignite Me. And uh, uh, I just, I just, I want to see what all the hype's about. And again, I love the cover, and I love how, like, this cover and Unravel Me and Un Ignite Me just all go together, and the eyes just. Uh, yes, yeah. creepiness is my best trait. Okay. And this is going to be my last book for the part one book haul. And it is Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. Um, I've actually already read this. I read this in October. But um, I'm going to a book signing later on in the month. And Jessica Spotswood is going to be there. And I'm really looking forward to her to like sign this one. And you'll see in a later book haul the second book in the um, K. Hill Witch Chronicles. And these, this series is just fantastic. It's basically historical fiction with a touch of magic, or in their cases, a lot of magic. Um, it's basically centered around uh, Kate and her three sisters, and they all happen to be witches. And they live in, like, a little bit after the Salem witch trial, so, like, I guess Puritan times. I'm not really good with history, so don't quote me, but, you know, around that time, and then just... Uh, just so much sexism and you'll, you'll see what I mean. But it's still a really good book. 
And basically, Kate is on the cusp of womanhood, and she has to decide whether to marry or whether to join the sisterhood. Because those are the only two choices women ever have in life, apparently. But, um, other than that, she also has to worry about the brothers, which are basically like the police force, per se. Um, anyway, it's a really interesting series, and she has a lot of choices to make, and she also has to, she has a big secret to keep, and it's, it's a really great series, and I definitely recommend it, and I, I love this cover, I love this cover. Uh, boys in the book, you shall spoon over. Mm. Okay, so I will catch you guys later in a second video for part two. Okay, bye. Oh.